So my eyes have already been prepped and primed, so I'm going straight in. And I'm applying firstly my highlight colour, and this is in form of Walk of Shame by Urban Decay. And I'm applying this all over my brow bone using a regular eyeshadow brush. But in this instance, my uh, eyeshadow flat brush is slightly angled. Next, I'm applying my first transition colour, which is in form of Burnt Orange by Face Quizit. This is, at the moment, out of stock. And I'm applying this using my flat angled blending brush. And this is just going to help with ease of transition in the colour. This is going to be followed by my second transition colour, which is in form of Ground Brown by MAC Cosmetics. And I'm applying this using a flat very soft blending brush and this I'm doing in order to help create a very slight cut crease you know faded out cut crease nothing sharp and I'm just uh, I'm blending this ground brown upwards I'm going to follow that with um, a regular blending brush and I'm just going to blend that out to make it nice and smooth and help again with the transition of colour. Now on to the lid. So I'm taking Cryol and Cream Eyeshadow and I'm taking this gorgeous royal blue colour and this is going to act as my base colour and I'm applying this with a synthetic flat brush and I'm applying it all over my lid. you just keep stacking it on until you're happy with what you have. Now taking a synthetic blending brush, I am just going to fade out the tip within the crease. And just fade it out a little bit. This is going to help me with the blending process when I apply the eyeshadow onto the lid. So onto the main colour today, which is in form of Bella Navy by Milani Cosmetics. I love this colour. It is so gorgeous. And using a flat um, eyeshadow brush, I'm just packing on this gorgeous navy colour. And just packing it on until I'm satisfied with the pigmentation. But to be quite honest... This eyeshadow is very pigmented, so you don't need to do this too many times. Okay, so now I'm grabbing my pencil brush. And again, I'm just kind of fading out the top of my crease. Again, to help with the ease of blending and creating that smooth transition of color. And to fade it out even more I'm grabbing my blending brush dipping it back into ground brown and just fading out that crease once again and taking it upwards And now I'm just going to apply a bit more of that burnt orange using the same flat blending brush. And I'm just going to take that beyond the crease and just underneath the brow. So it's like it's in between the crease and the brow bone. Now onto the eyeliner. So I'm using my favorite at the moment, my favorite liquid eyeliner, which is Slim Liner by L'Oreal. And the color is black liqueur. And I just love, you know, the tip application on this um, eyeliner. And I also love the intensity of that black. Yes, it's it really pops. And just to, you know, intensify or darken my eyes, I'm applying Feline by MAC, which is a soft cold pencil into my waterline. And I'm following this with a bit of mascara on my upper and lower lashes. And then I've applied my forces of camera and voila, there you go. So now onto the lips. Taking current lip liner by MAC, I'm just going to outline my natural lip line. 
making that line somewhat thicker than normal because I'm trying to create a slight ombre effect with this lips today. I'll probably do a separate tutorial on how to create ombre lips. But for today, this will have to do. I'm just, you know, making that line a bit thicker and, you know, applying a bit of intensity into the outer corners. Well, onto the corner, both corners of my lips, so the right and left corner, and blending it out with a lip brush. This I'm following with my main colour for today on my lips, which is Cream Cup by MAC Cosmetics. I love this colour, absolutely love it. How gorge, how gorge. Now I'm going back into that colour with Current Lip Liner. And once again, intensifying the definition around the lips and just making it, you know, somewhat thicker than normal. This is going to help in creating that ombre effect. And now I'm topping the center of my lip with Just Superb Lip Gloss by MAC. And this is what's going to give it that little extra pop in the center. You just apply this generously and smack your lips together and voila, you have your ombre lips. Don't you just love the combination of dramatic eyes and bold lips? I do. Absolutely fabulous. Mm, love it, love it, love it. And now on to the reveal. And there's the vixen. <laughs> I love the way everything's come together. You know, the hair, the eyes, the lips. Gorge. Anyway, divas, remember to follow me on Instagram at FaceQuizit. Follow me on Twitter at FaceQuizit. Also go and like my Facebook page, Grace Face Grizzit, Makeup Artist. And for more great videos, my dear divas, remember to subscribe. And until next time, do stay fabulous. I love you, Lord Divas. Take care. Bye.